can Italy get a performance out this Sunday? That is the big question. Because if they do, they could very well upset a very fragile-looking France. Hello, amateurs, and welcome back to our Six Nations series. And I'm going to be with you throughout the championship and beyond as well. So hit subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any future episodes. And in this episode, I'm going to be looking at the Italian team that I think is going to be uh, picked to face France this coming Sunday in Lille. Uh, just a quick overview of how they played against Ireland. I was really disappointed for them. I just thought they, in loads of ways, just didn't perform. Every time they got a little break in the game, there was an error. And it just, yeah, it was, it was not a great performance from Italy. Elko and myself went into it in full depth. I'll link it up there. You can go in and check out all of that, including a, obviously a thorough review on what Ireland did on the day as well. Some squad updates for Italy and the, well, two massive bits of news, I would say. Firstly, Louis Liner has uh, declared that he is available for Italian selection, having signed for Benetton and is straight into the squad. So congratulations to young Louis. Um, that's amazing news. And he essentially takes the place of Tommy Allen, who, and this is getting more common nowadays, who's dropped out. He just needs rest. He needs time and rest. And he's sort of quoted time away from his family for months on end. I'm guessing this was during the World Cup. And um, yeah, it's it, we're seeing this more often. I'm glad players are taking the time and making these decisions. But man, we need to sort the calendar out so that it doesn't come to this. But well done, Tommy, for being brave and, and making sure you do what's right for you. Also back in the squad is Simone Ferrari uh, in for the injured Cicciarelli, uh, a, a prop, and still out Negri, Lorenzo Canoni, and in it, Ia Chitsi. Uh, but in comes number eight, Licata from Zebra. Another interesting addition at some point in the future might be Matt Gallagher who's just signed for an Italian club as well, also Italian qualified, another son of a World Cup winner, John Gallagher, back in 1987 with the All Blacks. So I wonder if he will soon make, make it into an Italian squad as well. I mean, the thing is, Italy are quite strong uh, in the back three. You know, they've got some really good players there. So these two guys, I mean, are both very good and, and quality players, but an area of strength for Italy already. OK, let's get into the selection. And as usual, we'll start with the forwards. And these are the guys that I think are guaranteed to keep their spots from the previous game, both the second rows. And I think Isakor's gone well at six as well. Big, athletic, physical six. Front row, scrum did not go well in Ireland. And, you know, there, there are a lot of players who are similar standard, I would say. Um, Fischetti, I think, definitely struggled in the, in the scrum against Bielem. Um, Cecciarelli, obviously, out injured as well. So I feel like we may see some changes in the front row. And then at seven and eight, two good players, but both open sides, really, from last week in, uh, in Zuliani and Lamoro. And I don't think it worked. They didn't make a big indent on the breakdown, which is what you'd really hope for if you're picking two sevens. So I feel like we might have some changes there in the back row. This is what I'm going to go with. Spagnolo, the youngster, is, I think he's a coming force and I think he deserves a start, especially with Fischetti scrummaging, struggling last week. Nicotera comes in at hooker and Zilocchi made a big improve, made a big dent off the bench, I thought. The scrum improved for a little while and I thought he just raised the level of physicality in that game against Ireland. So I'd have him come in for Cecciarelli, who was injured anyway, obviously. And then we'll get Lamoureux back to his place at, at seven and bring some more pace into the side with Vincent, the young Exeter Chiefs number eight, who seems to spend most of his time coming off the bench for Chiefs and Italy so far. So it will be interesting to see what he can do with a start. OK, let's move on to the backs. And although I picked Varney for the first game, I think he's Italy's best nine. I thought we played quite poorly against Ireland. Just didn't get his basics in play. 
and um, was a very stop-start sort of performance from him. Box kicking was an issue. So there's a question mark there for sure. Then through the rest of the backs, Garbisi, Ioni, Manancello and Brex and Capuozzo, I think pretty much picked themselves as far as I'm concerned. I think they're sort of Italy's best players in those positions. On the right wing, Pani is super fast and, and does a lot of good things. But then you look at Jesse, who's also lightning quick and had a great try assist this weekend, just gone. And of course, the elephant in the room, Louis Liner. Do Italy bring him straight into the side and capture him? Which is a phrase that I really, really dislike when it comes to rugby and internationals, but it's all the rage. Uh, if he gets a cap, then he will be Italian as far as uh, rugby playing goes for the foreseeable future. Here's what I think. I think they're going to stick with Varney. I think, I do believe he's Italy's best scrum half. And I think he will put things right that he got wrong last week. And I also think they're going to stick with Panny. I think he's a good player, really rapidly, rapidly quick. And I don't think Liner currently, right at this moment, don't forget Louis Liner has barely played for Harlequins this season, really struggled to get in the side. And it's only been the last few weeks because of injuries that he's got in and performed well, to be fair. But he's, he's struggled this season so far. OK, on to the bench. Lucchese and Fischetti uh, swap places, take on the bench roles. Uh, tight head replacement. This is a quite a tricky one because you've got uh, Nachera there, who is uncapped, young, um, but playing, versus Ferrari, 50 caps, but hasn't played since November. So it's a tough, tough decision there. And I think, I think it's probably a good time to give the young lad some time. So I'm going to go with Nachera. Zambonin, Zuliani back to the bench. Pajrello continues on the bench as a scrum half replacement. And Mori at 23. But the, the stepping back from Tommy Allen, this is where it causes Italy some problems because he was great at covering 15 and 10, which made that, meant they had more options available when it came to the bench. They need cover for 10. I don't believe anybody else in that Italian team or bench that we have it so far can do it which is why Marion comes in on the bench to cover 10. Let me know in the comments down below if there is somebody else that has played a bit at 10 that I'm not aware of. So there we are. This is the Italian team that I think they'll take to Lille on Sunday. What do you think? Do you think it's the right team? Have I missed anybody? Is there somebody else who's in a lot of form that should be picked that I don't know about? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll join you there for a conversation. Give this video a thumbs up if you don't mind while you're down there and you can subscribe there. You can watch that one next and don't forget to get out and play.